Welcome to Chad Burka Woodcraft. Today we're gonna to make a birdhouse. It's gonna be in the shape of an acorn, um, and we're gonna dye it a color. We're gonna put an exterior finish on it, so that can be used outside and actually uh, function as what is made to be, a birdhouse. Um, I have an abundance of ash since the ash borer killed like a lot of trees on my property, so we're gonna make it out of that. And since it takes st stain and dye very well, it's usually turned out pretty nice. All right, let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take off some of this bark. Don't wanna have to mess up my gouge just for shits and giggles. All right, put it on the lathe. All right, we're gonna um, get this spinning. I've got it on the, the belt that's about 360. Um, seems to turn okay there. I'm just gonna kind of get her all leveled out so I can crank up the speed, get the ends all solid off, and then I will part off a part and get to building. All right, so I want the, the bottom of the birdhouse will be, yeah, I'll go seven inches here. It'll probably be smaller than that, but we'll uh, we'll just start out there.
it's all hollowed out now. Um, I'm not going to bother being super cleaned up about it. It's a birdhouse for Pete's sakes. It doesn't have to be super smooth or anything. It's a uh, it's pretty consistent. There's uh, maybe a high spot or a low spot here and there, but you know, as I say, it's a birdhouse. They're not really going to care. So um, just going to worry about the exterior, make it look nice, um, and uh, I got to turn it off. You know, and get the bottom off of it, and uh, then we'll start working on the cap. All right, we'll get at it. Since we're um, going to be dying it, I'm not going to go any higher than 220. All right, I call that good enough. Just part it, I'm going to part it off now, and we'll go find a log outside that's big enough for the top. in here so it's quicker to mount onto the lid. I'm going to be able to get the top out of this or not, but I 
figured might as well prep it like it's gonna be and hope for the best. Uh, give it give it some measurements and uh, flip it around and if it's gonna work, we'll get it. All right, good news. Turns out it's uh, gonna be large enough, so I'm gonna get going at it and uh, we're gonna turn the top. We gotta make it so that it goes down around the rim and uh, make it all fit nice and tight. And then we'll get it cleaned up. Here we go. All right, just got to part it off and keep the next stuff. All right. All right, we've got it all sanded and uh, we got the bottoms uh, off where we had our tenons. So now it's just a matter of Putting in holes for the bird to get in. Uh, these are smaller bird houses, so we're going to go like for like wrens, which is like an inch and an eighth hole. <laughs> We 
we had some cracks, so I just put a little CA in there. I'll put it in from the bottom, so that way it got into the cracks, and that way it'll it'll stop them. So that's what happens when you leave the pith in. It's part of the game. Anywho, um, next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a couple pilot holes in here so we can screw the lid on permanently. And uh, then we will, or not permanently, I should say, so that it can be removed and you can take the nest out every year and reuse it. All right, next step is we're gonna put a little dye on them. Um, I like uh, to use keto dye. It's a local company that, so I like to kind of keep it local. I'm gonna go do a couple. I've actually made two of the houses, so I'm gonna do one with brown and green, and another one probably be a solid color. Say about a quarter teaspoon. I like to use uh, the denatured alcohol because uh, evaporates quickly, dries, dries a lot faster, and uh, lets you move on to the next step. This is brown. What I'm gonna do is uh, have some black made up already. Um, I'm gonna run rub black over the entire body of the project and um, let it set for a minute and then we'll wipe it off. And then that'll like really make the green pop so that the secondary color will just sort of sit on top. a little darker than I wanted. I did a test color and I just did not like it. So I sanded it down to get a lot of the dye off. So hopefully that will lighten it up a little bit. And I thinned out the dye a little bit. So we'll see what happens. Worst comes the worst. Sand it down. All right, we're all dried. Now we're gonna put on the finished coat, which is uh, General Finishes Exterior Gloss. I like it to be a little shiny, a little bling for the birds. Okay, well here we have the finished product. Here are my acorn birdhouses. They're all finished. Each of them has three coats of exterior finish and they are ready to find their new homes and be homes for new birds. Well, I hope you like my project. Um, if you do, click subscribe and like it. And uh, if you have any comments, just leave them in the comments. All right, thank you for watching.